Yeah, maybe don't try these at home. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest rituals. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on rituals and supernatural games that you'd need to be mad, brave, or a bit of both to try. It's believed that productions of Macbeth, or to say even the name of Macbeth, would bring on bad luck to a theater production. Whether they're later concepts made popular by websites like Creepypasta or rooted in old folk tales, these often involve attempts to summon an evil entity or to transport oneself to an alternate dimension. The rituals have quite detailed instructions, so we're not going to delve too much into the how-to portions of them. Number 10. Devil Face This particular ritual is a relatively simple one, only requiring 12 black candles. Then again, the average person doesn't usually have a dozen of those lying around, so a trip to the store will probably be necessary. After that, however, you're all set to stare evil in the eyes. The ritual has you enter a dark bathroom just before midnight and stand in front of the mirror, where you're instructed to light the candles and close your eyes. When midnight strikes, open your eyes, and you'll supposedly see the face of the devil where your own reflection should be. What could possibly go wrong? Number 9. 11 Miles How bad can an 11-mile drive really be? Well, when each mile you drive features otherworldly elements threatening to kill you, the answer is pretty bad. What are you doing? For this ritual, you first need to fixate on that which you most desperately desire in life. Then, you head out alone at night in a car and search for the 11-mile road. Don't worry, if you're really looking and truly want it, you will find it. Be warned, though, you may regret locating it once you do. Expect to see spectral figures, hear muffled screams, experience vehicle failures and freezing cold, among other terrors. Should you survive, however, that deep desire should be fulfilled. Number 8. The Three Kings If we've learned anything from horror and sci-fi films, it's that making contact with another dimension is never a good idea. But hey, surely it'll work out just fine for you. <laughs> Thankfully, you'll have plenty of time to reconsider, as this ritual takes a lot of time and effort. You'll need three chairs, two mirrors, a fan, at least one candle, and an alarm clock, among other things. After the extensive prep, at exactly 3.33 a.m., you'll need to sit, holding the candle, looking straight ahead for an hour, during which time you'll apparently access the mysterious shadow side. What is it? You'll just have to perform the ritual to find out. <coughs> Number 7. The Gallery of Henri Beauchamp there's a lot of room for error in this one, and apparently one wrong move could be your last. Your eyes can shrivel, your nightmares may come to life, your body can burn from the inside, and you can also be sent straight to hell. There are a ton of steps to this ritual that we won't get into, but it begins by stepping into a particular small bar in Paris. Yep, if you're not in Paris, a plane ticket is part of the list of requirements. If you do get through all the hurdles, however, you get kissed by a green fairy and are filled with creative inspiration for the rest of your life. And of course, you get to see Beauchamp's paintings for yourself, if you dare. How about you? I'm not feeling a goddamn thing. Number 6. The Bath Game Well, at least you get to have a nice bath for this one. Well, mostly nice. While washing your hair, you must say Daruma-san fell down repeatedly until you finish. You will visualize a woman falling, her head hitting a rusty tap that impales her through the eye, after which she dies. <coughs> the next day, it's said that the ghost of Daruma-san will follow. If you try to look directly at her, she will disappear. But if you keep glancing behind your right shoulder, you may get a glimpse of the one-eyed ghost, at which point you can perform a chopping motion with your right hand while shouting Kita in order to escape her and win the game. Use your karate chop action! Get him. Uh, 
Hey, hey, how you doing there? As long as it's done before midnight, that is. Number five, the closet game. In here, get inside. Thankfully, you can have a friend with you for this one. You won't be contacting another realm or conjuring a ghost, but rather summoning a demon, you know, just for fun. The supposed risks involve being possessed by said demon or being dragged to hell. So don't say we didn't warn you. As you may have guessed, this game involves getting in a closet with some matches where you will say, show me the light or leave me in darkness. Just us. If you hear anything, light a match and get the hell out of there. Making sure to never open the closet door without the lights on. A demon now calls it home. <laughs> Number four, the elevator ritual or game. This one is as simple as going up and down between specific floors until a creepy lady enters the elevator with you. In the terrifying moment that she does appear, it's crucial that you not acknowledge her. Just take the elevator up to the 10th floor. There, you'll have one chance to forfeit the ritual. If you want to proceed, simply step out of the elevator into an alternate dimension. The lady will ask where you're going, but just ignore her. Are you ready for your turn, Anthony? You may explore this world if you dare. And to get back to your original world, just repeat the steps you took to get to the alternate one, making sure to use the same elevator. Number three, the midnight game. Can you think of any better way to spend an evening than inviting a ghostly spirit into your home and having him chase you around in darkness for over three hours while you avoid him? <laughs> this ritual begins with you pricking yourself to draw blood. So if you're queasy, this one isn't for you. Like a man. Once you perform the steps, ending with opening the door to let the midnight man in, the game will begin. Imagine it as a game of tag, but with dire consequences. As long as you keep moving around, don't see ghostly figures, hear whispering, or let your candle go out, you should be all right. Number two, Bloody Mary. I believe. Undoubtedly the most widely known out of all the creepy rituals, Bloody Mary is also one of the simplest. There are a few different ways to perform the ritual, but they mainly consist of saying Bloody Mary a few times in front of a mirror. Bloody Mary. When Bloody Mary supposedly appears, she can take on various forms, such as a corpse, a witch, or a ghost, and can kill you in a multitude of different ways. Like she might strangle you, steal your soul, or scratch your eyes out. If it helps, you're supposed to summon her when you're with a couple of people. So at least you won't die alone. I believe in Bloody Mary. I believe, I believe in Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. Number one, hide and go seek alone. Also known as one man hide and seek. I told you you'd be sorry. They might be fine in the context of a child's tea party, but at night, in the dark, there's something so deeply unnerving about dolls. Despite the title, you'll actually be playing with a spirit that, you guessed it, will be possessing a doll. Before you begin, you'll remove the doll's stuffing and fill it with uncooked rice and your own fingernail. Then you place it in water in either a sink or a bathtub. First, you have a go at seeking, which should be easy enough as it's an inanimate object you're looking for. Then you will stab the doll, pour salt water over it, and give it a turn at finding. And then it's time to hide from the evil demon doll. Good luck. It's me, Chucky. What do you think? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.